When I went to the doctor, I said I'm feeling kind of rough. Let me break it to you, son. Your shit's fucked up. I said my shit's fucked up. Well, I don't see how. He said the shit that used to work. Hi everyone, I'm James, and I'm 25, and the reason I'm making this video is that I have really low testosterone. So, right now it's December 2014. Back in August, I found out that I had low testosterone. I've been feeling off for a while, you know, went down the list of symptoms, low libido, fatigue, less energy in the gym, uh, poor concentration, sort of a diminished confidence and sense of well-being, some fat gain, and I had all those symptoms. Um, so I asked my doctor, please check it out, because otherwise I was healthy, so that, that's why I wanted to know. And came back 163.7 nanograms per deciliter. That's the concentration of testosterone in the blood. That's my total testosterone. Haven't gotten free tested yet. But... Um, so the average 25-year-old guy is at 750 nanograms per deciliter. The reference range is 249 to 836. That's the one my, my lab uses. And uh, now, yeah, 163.7 back in August. I said, oh, you know, let's get that back up naturally. I was stressed out last year. Cortisol certainly was behind this. Okay, so I worked on it. August through November, changed my diet, all organics, um, made sure that I was getting all my micronutrients, working out more consistently, uh, sleeping better, got even worse, went down to 134.7 when I checked it in November. So this just doesn't add up. So we had some of my pituitary hormones tested, LH and FSH. LH comes from the pituitary gland and tells the testicles to make testosterone. FSH comes from the pituitary gland to the testicles and tells the testicles to make sperm. So I had both of those tested, and they were normal, but they were near the bottom of the reference range. So we then did an MRI to make sure that my pituitary gland is okay. So what it showed was something called a partial empty cell syndrome. So what's happening is a membrane within my brain, the arachnoid membrane, piece of it is pressing down on the pituitary gland, which sits in which sits on a bony structure called the cella tersica, Turkish saddle, in the skull. Okay, So there's this hole, and normally there's a membrane covering it. In my case, the membrane dips in and suppresses, compresses my pituitary gland, suppressing its function. So that's probably why my testicles are not producing much testosterone. I'm in the you know, mid-hundreds, average 25-year-old guy mid 700s so we're gonna do some kind of testosterone replacement therapy we're gonna check some other hormones figure out my growth growth hormone is okay my estrogen is okay um, as well as thyroid adrenals we gotta check we gotta check those to make sure that we're not playing with the endocrine system too much but just wanted to create another example of someone who's going through low testosterone at a young age. You've got low T guy and a uh, big no-no, of course, who've, who've really helped me get on this path, I have to say. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to show my MRI. I don't know if you're, if you're interested in, in seeing that, but... Yeah, if you're feeling off, can't really explain it in the ways that I mentioned earlier, low libido, tired, loss of muscle mass, uh, poor concentration, poor sense of confidence and well-being, you might want to get this checked because I think it's becoming more common now for younger men to experience low testosterone for a variety of reasons. I encourage you all to do your own research on this, but I'll be checking in again soon. And Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or 